That's a little concerning. It's okay, I've forgiven him. Seek shelter. We need to seek shelter. So for the past few years, we've been living and working together in Kearney, Nebraska. But if you're anything like we were, you may not have even heard of Kearney. There's a lot to see and do here, and we'd like to show you some of what the city has to offer. So join us for a day in Kearney, Nebraska. So our first stop is Kits. This is one of our favorite places to come. Just for breakfast, for coffee, this is literally, look at this coffee, it's beautiful. This is definitely one of the hidden gems in Kearney that we wanted to show you. It's a super cute coffee shop. It can be a bit noisy. It's located right next to these train tracks over here, but um, I mean, it's still like a nice view. It's nice to just be outside when you're having coffee, having breakfast once in a while. Also, apologies for my voice. I'm just coming off of a cold, probably from dipping my head repeatedly into a bowl of water. You can click the card up here uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah. This is just one of our favorite places because it makes us feel like we're not in a small town. It's a really nice atmosphere, really nice food that you might feel like you would get in a bigger city. Yeah, we've been here for two years, two years and some change. So it's nice to just once in a while have these little places sprinkled throughout Kearney that sort of make you feel like you're in a bigger city. And tonight we're going to be going to dinner at one of those places. It's our new favorite place. It's a new restaurant. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, can't wait for that. the downtown area of Kearney. It's called the Bricks, which I think was named after the Brick Streets. We're just gonna walk around, pop into some businesses, and uh, see what we find. Okay, so this little area is where a lot of the college kids come to go to the bars. Kearney is a college town. The University of Nebraska at Kearney is located here. So there are a lot of college kids, and there are some bar options, which is really fun and nice. Here we have the main road this is central i think this is central right yeah central Ave. this is where the majority of the shops are along this road so over here paint paradise you can go and you can paint and stain little like figurines lauren took me there on a date when we first started dating but i didn't feel good by the end of the day so we asked if they could hold our our little things and so we could come back and paint them. It's been a full year now, so we couldn't just walk in and be like, do you still have our things? We just kept thinking like, okay, we'll go back, we'll go back, we'll go back. And then we just hit a certain point where we're like, we can never walk into Paint Paradise again. That's just a little fun fact about the beginning of our relationship. It's okay, I've forgiven him. He's taken me on many amazing dates to make up for it, but I am sad because I painted a really nice mug that I'll never get back, but that's okay. Tell the people where we're at. We are at Yonda's. It is, I think to my knowledge, the only music shop, instrument shop in Kearney. It's nice to just come in and admire things that I can't afford to buy. Yeah, we got to sit down and jam for a little bit and then we'll keep moving on. Okay, we are done downtown at the Bricks. Where are we heading? We're gonna take you to a really cool museum. If you Google Carney, you will see this place. It's like the thing that Carney is known for. Yes, let's go. It's like a signal when people come in and out of Kearney. They see this and they know that they're approaching Kearney. As far as I understand it, uh, Disney actually helped design this thing. And what it is, is it essentially tells the story of people passing through Kearney, how Kearney sort of came up as a town where people were moving west to look for gold. So we're gonna see uh, what it's all about.
seek shelter. We need to seek shelter. As you go through, you can kind of see how America evolved and also it's mainly about like the struggles that people endured while moving west. So as you can see, like crossing rivers when it's cold, a lot of people had to leave behind almost all of their belongings to just make the journey. <laughs> a little concerning this Susan girl is like I, we got to California okay and I'm too young for a bow but all the men don't seem to think so and it's like okay <laughs> she's probably like 14 and the Different men were all times. like I mean women were wives when I mean girls were wives when they were 14 back then yeah but she totally wasn't into it oh and well, she and yeah good was established on December 3rd, 1873, and the census that was taken that year showed 245 residents lived in the area with only 20 buildings in the whole city. Also, quick reminder, this entire museum is over the highway, and I'll show you. It, there's a little cool spot up here where you can actually see all of the cars underneath you. I don't like that. And this is where you can see that you're literally above the highway. And then over at this window, there's a little speedometer so you can see who's going the speed limit. So we just spent a good 20 minutes in here uh, taking pictures, uh, Instagram, at QLC underscore travels, follow us there. Also bonking your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you might think we're just in a cafe right now, but we're actually, oh, <laughs> this is the last stretch now of the museum, so let's see what it has in store. Uh, I does, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. What's wild about this ending is that you loop around somehow, somewhere, back to where you began. So you think about the arch just being like literally one way, but it takes you around so you end where you started. It's super cool. Did you have fun? I did. It was very cool. Very, yeah. very we're now gonna get dinner at our favorite place. It's called Fire. It's brand new to Kearney. We've been a couple of times, but it's definitely the nicest place in Kearney, in my opinion. Our final stop of the evening was a beautiful walk around Yanny Park to see the sunset, and then the day was over. There's still plenty more we didn't get to see, like Big Apple Fun Center, Sequel Bookshop, Steinbrink Greenhouses, Lauren's personal favorite, and the beautiful Cotton Mill Park. You can see a few of them in our previous videos, and you could see others in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. We'll see you next week.